Uh, it was in 1971. Uh, India and Pakistan were at war. Unprecedented and unprovoked attack on the airfields of India. Pakistan launched a... I was 10 years old. Uh, we were living in uh, HMT quarters in Jalahalli, close to Air Force base. There was a rule which said, after the siren went off in the evening, every household should black out. I went around the neighborhood with uh, my grandfather asking people to switch off their lights. I, I used to call my granddad Bai and he used to call me Mulu. I happened to be his blue-eyed boy. Uh, one evening we were sitting in the candlelight and uh, he called Mulu, come over here. He pulled a blanket over our head and he just showed his watch. I could see 12 lights glowing in the watch and two arms with the lights ticking. That was an amazing part and I was really zapped. He said it's HMT pilot. Last year, September, I saw my boss wearing a HMT pilot. It was a total recall for me. That was the day I started collecting HMT watches. Till date, I have close to 120 watches, out of which 15 happens to be pilot watches. And those still remain to be my favorite watches in memory of my grandfather. In celebrating HMT watches, Murli is not alone. An HMT watch collectors group is very active on Facebook, with members posting their watch of the day. They also meet every month at Bangalore's Common Park to discuss watches and show off new acquisitions. I have around 110 variants of Janta. Uh, in HMT, I'm having 52 mechanical uh, hand winding watches plus eight quartz watches. From 2014, I now have 60 watches. I think I have around 30 mechanical, automatics and hand wounds, and I have around five quartz. So over 900 watches have only HMT. With more than a thousand watches, Prashant Pandey is one of the biggest collectors, and that has earned him a few nicknames. Ghadi Babu. One guy called me Ghadi Babu at one point in time. Watchman. I'm the one who winds to unwind. The interest in HMT is because it is not modern. It is that, you know, earthen pot from which you drink your water. It takes you back in time. My heart always, you know, beats for the NHMT watch. HMT watches. Once Jawaharlal Nehru was presented a, a Swiss watch, then immediately he thought, why don't you make these watches in India? At the time, Swiss was only companies making wristwatches. They laughed at us. India making watch? Not possible. They went to East. There in Japan, Seiko also refused to give the technology to us. Citizen was ready to give some technology because they want to compete with Seiko. In 1961, HMT set up a watch factory in Bangalore. Nehru named one of the early models Janta, a watch dedicated to the people of India. The demand was so much that people used to come and stand in queue. They used to wait to the showroom to open. Like what they are giving money today, this currency, 2000 only per day. <laughs> we used to give one watch per uh, person. And uh, with that too limited quantity per day, about 100 or 200. That day's sale is closed. And HMT came up with some unique strategies to promote their watches. And the rural market was pretty big for us. Uh, we would uh, take a Swaraj Mazda van and then uh, we would put up all our HMT posters, our watches. So we would have these films with us. We would take a projector and in the van itself there would be a makeshift screen. We would make announcements. This evening at the village square we'll be showing Aradhana. And those were the days of Rajesh Khanna, Sharmila Tagore and Amitabh Bachchan. And crowd would build up. And when those popular songs of Kishore Kumar sung by Rajesh Khanna came, these people would also sing with it. There will be at least five or six breaks during the screening of the movie. We would uh, talk about our watches. We would repair the watches. We would sell watches. We would also book our watches. We would have a captive audience over there. 
for many Indians, celebrations were incomplete without HMT watches. HMT Janata was usually the watch which the father would present to the son when he passed SSLC, the 10th standard. And HMT Pilot would be the first watch that the man would buy from his first salary. And those days, HMT Sona was the watch to give to the son-in-law. Kancha and it was so popular, they used to demand uh, automatic Kanchan watch and, and, and uh, dowry. Didn't expect anything, I want Kanchan watch. <laughs> HMT's diversity is a collector's delight. There are watches for defense, sports persons, bankers, doctors and nurses, and for the visually impaired, and even for the ones who care about Rahu Kaal. Designs are plenty, from sandalwood bezels, to gold-plated cases, to ornate bidri cases. Some dials have galosh patterns, one has a gold biscuit, some rotate in both directions, while others reveal the skeleton underneath. Many watches have popular Indian names. My name is Prashant, so I have it. See, I'm wearing a HMT Sharat today. It's my name. <laughs> uh, probably the best watch ever made on my name was made by HMT. <laughs> With my name on it. It is HMT's hand-worn watches that are the most sought after. Priced for their old world charm and fine craftsmanship. The precision that is involved in the manufacturing of this watch and watch components is really very thrilling. Quartz, it, it, it runs in the motor. That is why you will have a jerky movement like this. But that is not the case with this mechanical watch. It is a very, very smooth going movement. That is the difference, you can feel it. When you wind the watch in the morning or in the night and the whole mainspring gets skews completely, like a dam where you put in a water, then it releases it slowly, 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 slowly. And that mechanism is called escapement mechanism. It reads one by one. That means you know, that is why you are hearing a tick, 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 tick. That means in one second, one tick sound will come. See this tick, tick sound, if you hear today also, it will be a very smooth thing and will listen with pleasure. Times change. Competition from Titan, slow adoption of cheaper quartz technology, and outdated design and marketing. All led to HMT losing its monopoly. After several years of losses, the government shut down HMT watches in 2016. But the appeal of these watches lives on. So what makes them popular even today? So retro is cool nowadays. When I heard it taking, it just struck. You know, love at first sight. Being a mechanic, mechanical engineer, seeing the movements uh, roll, the gears and the, all the things, it excites me. Robust. Classy and, uh, and it's made in India. It is absolutely handmade watch. Almost 30%, 40% is a labor content in it. It has that antique uh, type of fascination. People want something, something old, 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 old. While for many of us, HMT watches invoke nostalgia, there are some making new memories with them. I was dating my fiance Somya. You know, we come from different religious backgrounds, so so we had differences of the family not accepting our uh, marriage. So I found two watches in her father's name, uh, Ravi, and mother's name, Anita. Rare ones. Packed them together, wrote a love letter to them, said, these are the two watches which will keep ticking throughout your life, and I ensure I do the same thing for your daughter. I'll keep my love alive. We finally cracked the deal. <laughs> so they, they agreed and we had a small uh, roka ceremony. This day, I gave her a braille watch. Chimpy braille is somewhere you touch and feel the time. And you always hear the heartbeat because it's a mechanical watch. I just love that moment when uh, we started afresh forgetting the tough times we had getting together. I said, you know, this watch is going to tick on forever. We'll keep working on it and you are always going to feel the time.